Jacob got called to this job yesterday because it was water coming through the ceiling. Um, it was on that fanny trap. But there's actually hot water running through this still. Um, so one of the temperature pressure reliefs has gone. So we'll have a look exactly what is going on. So that's bossed in. That is to regs. Um, but we've got to climb all the way down to this far end to get to the cylinders. I think he says there's two. He's with me anyway, but he's just I'm just gonna switch the water off and then he's gonna open the tap. Ugh, good place to put some cylinders. So I thought which what's going on? We'll check the vessels. That vessel's full. You can hear it when you tap on it. So we'll see if we can recharge that. Uh, there's another cylinder. That one's empty, that one's fine. But it's this. Yes, that temperature pressure relief gone. Um, you can feel it because it's hot. It's red hot actually. So I've got a direct replacement. So yeah, we'll isolate the cold into the cylinder on that one. Are they linked? No, they're not. Cylinders aren't linked, they're separate. So yeah, just open the hot tap, Jacob. And that'll get rid of the pressure and then we can pump that vessel and change that relief valve it must be g3 qualified to work on these cylinders and um, that one's been leaking a while on that tun dish and running down oh it's already had one new valve look unless that was the other cylinder um so yeah we're going to check normally if it's the temp normally if that six bar one goes off there on the composite valve it's that vessel gone i mean that vessel's gone anyway and if it's hot water come out it means it's a temperature pressure relief gone but now we've got the water off we'll open that up and let that drain we might just have to crack a bit of air in the top of the cylinder to empty that down and the, these are a special valve on these you, sh you shouldn't really have the isolation points on expansion vessels yeah, it is holding open, mate. Yeah, I know. Uh, but they're a three-way valve, so it'll blow off down the bottom. So basically, you've always got a path to vent on them. So it's just for, like, servicing. Well, we're going to crack that at the top. Just let a bit of air into the cylinder. And then that should start running a lot faster. Because obviously, if you don't let the air in, in theory, you could airlock it. But it's just, we're just gonna, it's just going to be safer to drain. See, that's running a lot quicker now so yeah it's one thing to watch out for and obviously that's red hot since it's had a new vessel fitted in 2021 so three years ago so hoping we can just get away with topping that up so while that's draining we can put the expansion the um pump on there and this needs to be set 2.7 bar this one um so it'll be flat i've only got a manual pump cold water off and hot tap open and then we'll top this up to where it needs to be and we'll go all the way around to, up to where it needs to be at three bar. You see that's running a lot faster now because we're emptying the water out of this and displacing it with air. I need to get one of them uh, Nikita or Milwaukee ones. Alright, you can do it like this. You. It's starting to get a bit of resistance on there now. It's probably you can hear yeah, the bladder. The other, the other, they're, not, they're, not on. they're not joined. They're not on equal draw. No, it's separate draw offs, mate. Right. One must do one end and one must do the other end. Yeah. It was the bladder, it was the bladder expanding inside. about 2.8 bar in it that should be absolutely fine you can hear the difference obviously when we tap that it should be full of air not water one thing i should have said if you put a little bit of silicon lubricant grease before you put this on it tends to stop and leaking out obviously we need to spray that with a little bit of ldf to make sure that make sure that pin is not losing air otherwise it'll just fill straight back up with water again Normally, you can get away with recharging them. Sounds all right. And then once that's finished draining, 
We've already got the new one locked tightened up. We'll just whip that straight in. The temperature of that, red hot. So it's all clipped up, 28 mil all the way through. Nice little drop on it there. Actually, it's not a bad job they've done, really. Love has fitted them. Not the easiest to get to, but that wasn't really the plumber's fault. Stop running. Yeah, eventually stops. Like you say, there's no resistance on that PRV, is there? No. Resistance is futile. Has it just been running back into it? There's, I think it's falling down off. It's flipping up, you know that. It's been making a while, that. Yeah, it's only fallen out to leave the ceiling. So you can get them hot and detect, can't you? Because obviously you'd never know it was running. No, I know it's unscrewed, but I can't get any movement to get it out. Yeah. I want to break the tundish. dish. I can help it. That'll do it. That'll do it. Right, there's that towel further down there, Jay. Do you want to just go and grab that towel? Yeah. It's down that end, because when we take this out, we'll get a little bit of water. Get it undone. Oh. Oh. Never had one that time before. Let's do a bit of reverse psychology on it. Oh, I can't get it undone, mate. Yeah, you can have a go if you want. Because I can't get any, I can't get any purchase on it. Oh, I can't do it. I can't do it, mate. I'm bored. <sighs> nope. Oh, it's in the nuts. All right. Okay. Okay. It should come out. Yeah, you think it'll come out alright. Well, you'd think so, wouldn't you? Yeah. <sighs> it's because I can't get it. I can't get it square on. Yeah. I literally can't get to where I need to be. Sorry. Not threatening it enough. Oh, it's hot. Wrap the new one. Yeah, I've wrapped the new one ready to rock and roll, mate. We've just got to. It's just 
temperature of it that I don't like. Have you got a new one in arm's reach? Yeah, it's in. Oh, right. I'm doing it, yeah. See how bad that is in there. It's good it's been running ages that. Where's the new olive please? Oh sorry, I put it on here. Well we tighten that nut back up on top of the cylinder so we can that tap's open in it. Yep. Take a second to fill the cylinder anyway. In theory, both cylinders should have their own separate discharge, but I probably would have teed them together. Um, same as they've done, obviously two cylinders should have had two discharges because if both them cylinders were to discharge at the same time it probably wouldn't take that 28 mil it'd probably have to be more like 35 or inch and a half I'm swapping between metric and imperial but you know what I mean um, it'd have to be a lot bigger because even when you tee a heating a heating discharge in that tap open mate well technically you're not supposed to do a heating discharge into them because the weight the the discharge pipe's only size for these temperature pressure relief and pressure relief. See that one's been running ages. But it ain't running now. I think that's job done. So all we've done on this one, refilled the expansion vessel and changed that temperature pressure relief. So that's absolutely bone dry now. Um, so there's nothing wrong with this six bar one on here. I'm assuming it's six bar, yeah, six bar. Um, so yeah, it was that one that was faulty. Uh, it was a, it'd be a good place for some of them hot under techs. You know, them ones that beep when they go off because obviously up in the roof, nobody's ever going to bother coming up in here. Not until it goes through the ceiling, which is what's happened. But yeah, that'll be that'll be perfect. Hey, I've been called uh, to this job. Somebody's actually smashed the cistern lid. Um, I don't know what they've done. They've like pulled it all apart. So what I've done is I've managed to pick up a new cistern, um, new cistern lid. I think I'm just going to change the lot. In theory, I could probably just change the bayonet and the lid because I was actually really lucky because you don't normally get this lucky. But the original label is actually on the cistern. I'm not a, I'm not a ceramic expert like you see on these guys on the Antiques Roadshow. But yeah, in theory, I could just change that and the bayonet. Obviously, I've had to buy a, I've had to buy a cistern for it anyway. Um, so I'm just going to change the lot. Somebody's already isolated the water. That service valve's buried in the boxing lot. So hopefully that don't leak when I turn it back on. So we'll just get it disconnected. Well, unscrew the one screw that's in it. And yeah, sort that. And they've also asked me to reseal around the bottom of the pan. So we'll get that one sorted for them. We'll get it unbolted. I'll probably have to cut that silicon down the side anyway where it's been masked it to the box in I don't know what's we even going to do for us so which don't normally happen if we're honest we all know what it's like don't we So all we'll do is clean this up here, hopefully just bolt the new system straight on.
So we've just got to put the new bolt set through the cistern. Uh, these these ball valves and that come pre-made in. You shouldn't need to use silicone or anything like that on them. But to be fair, that is completely loose. So we'll nip them up and um, put them through. And then if everything lines back up, it should be done. So that's our underneath piece. I'm going to off there. So inside the system, you've just got that first rubber washer and the metal ring. And underneath, we use that and that. Pop a new fibre washer on there out of the van. That's actually got to come down a long way yet, hasn't it? It should be all right. I think it's clamped up yet, but we'll get clamped down. New fibre washer on. loosen it up on the connection but at the minute it's not so easy to cross these two isolators on it now but don't hate me too much at least that one's easier to get to Make sure the ball valve shuts off and then just test it and then all I've got to do is recently come back around the edge. It's all working, got no leaks which is the main thing. I'm just going to cut that silicon off around the bottom and just replace it. been getting inside the pan. 
and I don't want to screw it down because I think there's one floor heating in here. 